I don't know what to say. I mean, do we start with the, the last things first or first things first? Last things first. Um, end of the game. Here's here's what really bothers me about the way that game ended. One, of course, Tigers get knocked out and you had a free ride to the Sweet 16. But also, Kendrick Davis being who he was for this team all year, 21 and a half points a game, five and a half assists per game, should have been the AAC player of the year, probably the best player in Penny Hardaway's era as the coach get you to your second straight NCAA tournament was unbelievable in a championship game to knock off the number one team in the country for an AAC championship. And then he has a turnover that's so costly at the end of the game that I I honestly think a timeout should have been called, but that's the self-inflicted wound that left it to the officials to try to sort out. Yep. And I, this is unfortunate because I think when good things happen, as fans, as media members, what you remember, um, you, you remember some of the good things. You remember, you know, what he was able to do. But that play, in a lot of ways, will define what we remember about this season in particular. And it was his one season, and he was so phenomenal. But that one play derailed a lot of the positive things that, that people are going to remember from this season. Yeah, it, I mean, it's tough watching that, right? Because like you said, he's been the engine. He's been he's had the team on his back all year long. And then in the biggest moment, in the biggest game. Bum ankle and all. Bum ankle and all. Needed to get across the eight seconds. He was trying to call, push. Yeah, call a timeout. He was freezing up a little bit. He and, was losing it. And he just let it fly. Not as bad as Virginia, but yeah, it wasn't a Hail Mary. Yeah, do you... Do you think that all of the nastiness going on in the in the huddle previous to that, when he hurt his ankle, him and Malcolm start pushing each other, I thought about this. Did that affect how he played and perceived the game down the stretch? Because it felt like after all of that, they're freaking out at each other. They're losing it. It felt like they never really got back to calming themselves down. He was pressing. He was uncomfortable, Kendrick yeah. especially. I mean, and when Kendrick and when Kendrick is pressing and uncomfortable, you know the rest of those guys follow in his footsteps. Right, he's the leader. So they all come down a notch as well. I mean, that to me, that's the most unfortunate part is because as soon as that happened, I just kind of looked around and was like, "That's it." You're not. I mean, there are what four minutes left. Biggest game of the year, massive moment. You're not getting that back on the rails in four minutes. No, it it was. Are, are you talking about the when they when went they after each other in the huddle? Correct. Because yeah. from what I gather, and this is you know this is not like 100 percent confirmed, but just from being on the court and kind of hearing the interactions in the huddle yeah. and everything, what I believe happened is either Kendrick wanted Malcolm to flash to the basket. Or post up and have his back turn. Malcolm's turned towards the goal. Kendrick just fires it up. Ends up, and I still, I still haven't went back and watched a replay. Did he land on the ground or did he land on his foot? He landed on uh, the defender's foot. Right, so it should have been a twisted. foul anyway. It should have been a foul, yes. Um, Didn't give him space to land. Right. And I think he was, in the moment, angry at Malcolm because instead of him getting the ball down low, he shot it and then got injured. Obviously, fully coincidental like obviously Malcolm didn't go kick him in the ankle or anything but he was mad at that moment because he felt like if Malcolm would have done what he was supposed to there would have been no issue with the shot there would have been no ankle twist and then it just chain reaction Malcolm and Kendrick get into it Alo and Jaden are kind of going at each other Frank Haith lost his mind I mean it, it was it was just like a whole season just blew up right there because they haven't done this no, all year. Kendrick has been so level headed. The whole team, so has, the but, whole but, team has been, but especially Kendrick, absolutely has been so level headed through the whole process. And I get where NCAA tournament first time, uh, it, it's a tight game against a team you think you should beat. You roll your ankle. I can see where the endorphins and everything gets you out of your character to a certain extent. But that, like, that had an effect on that team down the stretch because offensively after that. If it wasn't a DeAndre putback, they weren't getting into anything. They weren't comfortable on that end. And they were just – they were fighting for their lives down the stretch of that game. Let me speak to that for one second. Having, having an opportunity to be on the floor for most of those home games, um, you know, Kendrick is a – I would say he's absolutely the vocal leader in the, in the huddle. Um, he is a very 
very aggressive leader in that huddle. Um, that is not the first time that he has freaked out on people in the huddle. Um, but push, him and him and DeAndre, people? him and DeAndre get into it at least three times a game. But pushing, and DeAndre, shoving DeAndre's and... a little more level headed than Malco, I think, in that regard. And I, but it just felt different than what any of the other times that I'd seen that. It felt different this time. It was just a very unique situation where it felt like it was a a lot of pent up stuff that just came overflowing on the on the where, on the court. Where I'm coming from is okay on the on the court. He's level headed. Maybe he gets fiery in the in the in the huddles, but he doesn't outwardly show that to fans, to all these guys sitting courtside. He right. doesn't. And right. that's what happened that time. He lost it. Yeah. He lost it. He lost his cool. And I I think ultimately that was a big strike against the Tigers down the stretch of that game. And I hate that. 